what's up and welcome back to my channel my name is austin betha if this is the first time here you are most definitely welcome please do watch it on the subscribe button before you leave and also give this video a very big thumbs up at the end if you enjoy watching it okay on today's episode of the big brother nigeria reunion show the housemates talk a lot about social media their fans how their fans influence them positively negatively how they instigate fights where there is no fight and just how they make their lives more unbearable and sometimes bearable as well and the first person the question was directed to was diane you know ebuka had asked her how she felt when she came out of the house and the kind of reception she got from her fans and all of that and in her words it was insane i mean it was a lot she was shocked she was surprised but then to her it was a very good thing because again she wasn't even expecting it now when ebuka asked her how she deals with the whole negativity on social media and all of that she said something you know in her words that is what we signed up for and i feel like i buy into that because again when you go into biggie's house you don't expect that when you come back things will remain the way they were there's no way that's going to happen okay you're definitely going to have new friends new enemies people who will support you and people who would constantly bash you okay in fact Thelma even gave us a scenario of when she launched her brand la Thelma. you know she said that there was a particular fan that kept on attacking her that kept on asking her you what are you selling which cream are you selling that they're not selling on social media you better go back to your father's house nobody's going to buy this nobody's going to buy that and you know she tried ignoring that particular person for a very long time but the person kept on bringing negativity to her comment section and one particular day one faithful day like this she had time she prepared herself and she gave it back to that follower as if they hold you know and since that day the follower never came back to her page to drop any kind of comment instead the person moved over to toyo's page which was actually what landed toyo and that follower on insta blog because the person kept on saying negative things to toyo as well and of course they had their clash Ebukana asked Ike if he feels like like the fans of some of the housemates attack other housemates and to Ike he doesn't even see that as a problem because he doesn't pay a lot of attention to it because again these people have been there before they went to Big Brother Niger you know people who try to bully others on social media people who try to trash talk others they've been in existence and he doesn't really take all the things they say really personal and I feel like that's the way to go because again if you start tightening all the things to your chest your chest will tear your chest would say to explode okay so the best approach is just ignore i know that sometimes it can be really hard i mean i know that feeling because sometimes people drop comments in my comment section and i'm like you know what better just just delete just delete because if you type what's in there your mind if you type the thing when they your mind this person will have a heart attack because sometimes people actually think that they're the only ones that know how to type trash to people they feel like they're the only ones that know how to operate their keypad but guess what we all know how to use our keypad i for one i know how to be savage but I try to be the bigger person because again, we cannot be dragging ourselves in the mud like she said the last time, okay? In fact, Ike even mentioned that the people that make the loudest noise on social media, the people that drag them the most are people that did not spend one naira of their money to vote. And it is fair to agree with him because again, if you spend your money voting for these people, I don't think you wake up one day and then begin to just insult and still trash the people that you spent your hard-earned money to vote for. It is only people that do not vote, that use their mouths to vote, that are the ones that are very quick to type things. Continue, your phone will blow, it will blow. Now for Elozonam, he actually thinks that sometimes their fans make them fight. You know that the fans instigate the fight you know sometimes you're cool with another housemate but then your fans start tweeting things you know there's a long trail of tweets this is the other person and it's almost impossible for you not to believe those tweets and before you know it fights don't start so he feels like the fans actually play a role in you know housemates fighting and all of that stuff and to actually buttress that point here kimopra pointed out that there was a time mercenaries dragged her for three days straight and she was like uh-uh What's up? I'm not fighting with Messi. She had to even text Messi like, Messi, are we cool? And Messi was like, yes, no problem. So she had to shut out all the noise and just all the things that were being tweeted at her. So that actually means that fans go the extra mile to cause fights between these housemates. And in my opinion, that's so unfair. Now for me, I feel like the fans cannot really be controlled. Like as much as the housemates will try to show them that, oh, there's no problem between me and this person, fans will always be fans because they have a mind of their own now I'll give you an example in the video where we talked about Messi and Tasha making up and all of that I categorically stated there that there's really no point coming here to say I'm this person's fan or I'm that person's fan let's just let these two people work out their issues but people still came in my comment section to remind me that oh I'm a titan I'm a mercenary oh Tasha is the one with a good heart Messi is bad Me I, like what the hell we just agreed to let these people be that's the thing Fans know they hear what? They know they hear. Now, after they talked about this whole social media shenanigans and all of that, they moved over to showing us some clips from the house, some very remarkable and unforgettable clips. And the first one was actually Omashola trying to teach Mike the lyrics to tennis song, you know, where he had to say, I go call MC Olu Omo. And he had to say, I go call MC Olu Omo. I go call MC Olu. I'm like, can you, Mike, can you just drop it? Okay, it's fine. You don't have to pronounce it right. Now, the second clip was Sheyi and Ike's fight, the one they had in the garden 
it where she was telling Ike, Ike, in conscience, in conscience, that means something is wrong with you, something is wrong with your head. You know, he kept on saying that Ike, and Ike stood up like wanting to go and fight, but thank God for fraud that night. Fraud was the one that held Ike back. If not that night, that night, that she him out to the run like tap, therefore, help and burn down. Therefore, just help and bend down, make the, make the teacher a small lesson. Because the guy amount to the run, if they run like tap, we don't get control. Now, the most remarkable clip that they played for us tonight, in fact, in my opinion, that's the most remarkable clip from the show. If you already know the fight I'm talking about, then you are the real MVP, okay? I'm talking about no other fight but the Chihuahua and Umbuzo fight, okay? I'm talking about Tacha and Omashola. Chihuahua, Umbuzo, back in the Chihuahua, back in the I'm like, what the hell? What the freaking hell? Guys, can you believe that they actually made a record out of that? Like, they made a song out of it. I think I mentioned it on this channel one time, you know, where I even put the link to the song. Omashala actually went out of his way for them to shoot a video. You know, he invited Tacha and they brought dogs and everything and it was just really hilarious. I'm like, okay, okay, that had to be the height, alright? Now, Emuka was like, guys, how do you feel coming out of the house to see a clip where you both were shouting, backing dog, chihuahua, backing dog, chihuahua, umbuzo, chihuahua. And he also mentioned that Omashala was clearly having fun that day and for me i think i'll agree with ebuka although the whole thing did not start off as a joke you know it was a very heated argument but as time went on yeah omashala just started catching the strips kept on saying chihuahua mbuzo bakrida chihuahua he was just having fun but tacha kept on going you know say tacha tacha know they play you know she carried the thing set for her like you said mbuzo like that you go tire first you know that day was really really crazy guys they went on for about an hour if not more shouting back in dog chihuahua back in dog chihuahua now ebuka was asking tacha how she felt about the whole thing and she said that for her too it was all fun but that initially she was like uh uh what kind of human being is this? If he doesn't stop, I will not stop. You know, she was wondering how she even got into this whole mess in the first place. But guys, I cannot even lie. That particular day, I laughed so hard. Like, it was so funny. Instagram was on fire. Twitter was on fire. Even YouTube, everywhere you go, back in the Chihuahua. Back in the Chihuahua. I don't tire. I tire. Now, moving on from that, yeah, Ebuka now decided to ask Tacha a very, very delicate question. In my opinion, that question was very sensitive. Okay, he asked Tacha if she feels like she's a reflection of her fans and in my head I'm like Tacha, please think think before you respond because these people are trying to look for a problem when there is no problem And you guys best believe that Tacha tried her best to comport herself and just give the best response that she could You know in her words yeah, she said that it's all love, you know for her everything is love Everything is love and light, you know when she came out of the house There was a narrative already existing about her and she came out and tried to change that It's all love, it's all peace between she and the other housemates and she feels like her fans behave and act accordingly but then when she said that yeah it didn't really go down well with most of the other housemates especially Eluzuna because she was like and Ebuka was like yeah I know your mouth is scratching you but hold on he now asked Tasha that okay well, do you think that your fans always go out to attack other housemates do you think that your fans are always there trying to instigate problems and all of that stuff and Tasha was like no my fans don't attack other housemates guys at that point yeah I just dropped dead laughing I'm like Tasha can you just stop like we know the truth okay I know I like you but your fans titans they know they play okay they know they carry last anyway we're trying to they, 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 they okay I know that they are going to come for me in the comment section but it's the truth titans not the rest the same thing with mercenaries I feel like they both have the same kind of fans but it's just that they are supporting two different people and I don't even buy all those baby grammar and came to speak today because I was like hey, mercenaries are more for defense and peace while titans are more for attack and in my head I'm like uncle just shut up just keep quiet okay nobody called you into this matter keep quiet Okay, you don't know anything about titans and mercenaries anyways in my own opinion i feel like both the titans and mercenaries they defend a lot and they attack a lot so there's really no point pointing fingers and saying oh do your fans do this or do your fans not do this to me i feel like that question was actually baseless because again why would you be asking her if her fans are more of attackers like what are you expecting her to say to say yes like what kind of game are you guys trying to play there as much as Tasha admitted to the fact that sometimes the whole back and forth on social media can be very unhealthy you know she tried to use her issues with Messi and all of that and she was like look I think our fans just want a reassurance you know maybe we go for an event together you know take pictures make videos together and post it maybe that will convince them further now Messi was like well I agree to the fact that we might have to do an event or you know take pictures or do all of that stuff but Tasha you know you know that your fans attack in fact sometimes you yourself Tasha you go as far as reposting those tweets 
or even liking those posts that this other house made. So you cannot say your fans don't attack, you know, that was Messi's argument. From now, table this whole matter to us. It was like, first of all, Tatcha and I have no problems. I mean, there's no bad blood between us and all of that. You know, I chat her up, she chats me up and stuff like that. But that when he dropped his clothing brand, few days after Tatcha had released hers as well, you know, he got people commenting and, you know, praising the outfit. And that there was this particular person that tweeted at him saying, oh, nice work, nice material and all of that. He quickly responded to the person and said, yes, thank you, we actually make our research before producing and then he got on his flight because he was traveling to Abuja now for him to get to Abuja and turn on his phone he saw tons of messages on Twitter people dragging him more like Titans dragging him and saying trash about his clothing line in fact there was this particular tweet he mentioned there he said that the person had tweeted thank God our queen know they follow trash now he checked on Twitter and saw that he was following Tatcha but Tatcha wasn't following him anymore clearly she was following him before that time and I was like okay cool he goes on Instagram on send all the messages that he had sent to her before that she did not even respond to and all of that he unfollowed her and blocked her as well and went on his own page and posted a picture with the caption that read on border because again i cannot be following you i cannot be acting like we're cool meanwhile you're not following me your fans are saying trash about me and you're not even coming out to defend me if you claim that we're actually cool now in tasha's defense she was like first of all i did not even get all those messages that you're talking about because again i'm the one that wished you happy birthday i actually reached out to you i wished you happy birthday so if you're saying that you sent me a message it never got to me i never saw it and friend was like but when i checked he actually said sin so i don't see why you now come here now and be saying that you did not say and teacher was like well i have a publicist okay i'm not the only one that handles this social media thing and all of that so maybe i did not see because if i had any bad energy or whatever i don't think i'll reach out to you to say happy birthday post your picture and all of that stuff i did not see you know and they kind of resolved it there because again it's time for peace okay it's time for peace now when Benita was asked she was like yes it is very impossible for you to control all your fans of course there's going to be one or two judases and all of that but for Benita she feels like as housemates they have a position to influence things they are in a space where they can actually influence people and influence the things that they say so even if you're not the one that started the fight even if you're not the one that instigated it you can help curb it you can help you know call your fans to other or maybe make a post or say something that will make people know that okay oh well, I'm not actually fighting with this particular housemate so whatever it is you people are doing whatever it is you people are tweeting i have no hand in that and i actually agree with her because sometimes you find that titans are saying things about messi mercenaries are saying things about tatcha and you really never see the both of them coming out to say oh guys this is not the case i feel like if they start coming out more and voicing out more you know making people know that okay we don't have issues we're cool at some point their fans will be forced to listen i understand that fans have a mind of their own but when they see that these two people we are always trying to attack are actually friends they go tired okay they go tired so they need to be more careful with the kind of tweets they actually retweet and the kind of things they like on social media because again that speaks a lot that's the first thing their fans notice because if not how else did the fans find out that tatcha was no longer following fraud you know little things like this actually matter so they need to be accountable for their actions not that when they ask you question you're not be saying oh i did not do this or i did that like guys please we're not babies okay anything you do you know when you are doing it so just own it and move on that's my own piece okay now that's basically everything that happened on today's episode apart from the fact that they gave a shout out to fraud you know for giving the guys the branded shirts that they all had on you know they had the unbothered hoodie and stuff like that also they gave Omashola a shout out for his branded face cap they also gave Tatcha a shout out for her no leave no transfer t-shirt as well now the final words from Messi today was guys let us stop fighting and I wish that everything they say on this reunion, I wish that the way they all clamor to stop fighting and you know to just love one another, I wish that they'll actually exhibit that in real life because I don't see it, okay? I don't see it. They say one thing on the reunion and then on their social media, it's another thing. I really don't understand it. I really wish that they will live up to the things that they say on this reunion. If they can do that here, then the world will be a better place. People will learn more things from them, positive things I mean, okay? Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed watching it, please don't forget to give me a very big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed and I'll definitely catch you guys tomorrow, alright? Bye!